Hey guys, what's up? It's your favorite SpongeBob SquarePants fan back again with another video. Are you ready to embark on a hilarious journey through the wacky world of Bikini Bottom? Buckle up and get your Krabby Patties ready because we're about to reveal the second installment of 50 Hilarious SpongeBob Blooper Moments. Welcome back to Wonderflaw TV, your number one ultimate destination for cartoon enthusiasts who enjoy spotting bloopers. With a keen eye for detail, we have meticulously analyzed every episode to present you with the most humorous and cringeworthy mistakes, ranging from continuity errors to animation slip-ups. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fun videos like this. And now grab a tub of popcorn and let's jump right into the action. Today's episode is all about SpongeBob SquarePants, and specifically an episode called Neptune's Spatula. In this episode, SpongeBob pulls out King Neptune's legendary spatula, and hilarity ensues. Yes, yes! At last, someone worthy of being the royal fry cook who has freed the spatula from the grease. But as always, we've noticed a few mistakes that we want to share with you, so let's get started. First up, we have a subtle mistake that's easy to miss. Take a close look at King Neptune in one of the scenes. He's green, but if you watch closely in slow motion, you'll notice that his hand randomly changes to another shade of green. It's a minor mistake, but it's still there. The red underwear. No blue. No. The royal fry cook's wallet contains his big toes are... Uh, he has six. He is the new... Royal Fry Cook, and you. Know. Is it hot in here or what? Moving on to the second mistake, which is a bit more obvious. In one scene, we see a character wearing a yellowish green shirt with a collar. However, in the next scene, when she's about to eat a Krabby Patty, the collar has mysteriously disappeared. And she's wearing a regular t shirt instead. But wait, there's more. In the next scene, her entire shirt changes colors from yellowish green to orange. no good. But what makes you think his will be any better? Give me that! There's one more mistake I'd like to point out. Check out Fred. Typically, he's wearing a belt with a buckle, and you can see the straps from his pants. However, in this particular shot, he's just got a black line around his waist, which seems like a pretty lazy mistake. Now let's dive into another intriguing episode called The Clash of Triton. Neptune, surely this isn't the behavior befitting a king, hiding in bed for days on end. While the plot may be a bit questionable, it doesn't make it a bad episode overall. The story revolves around King Neptune visiting the Krusty Krab and sharing the tale of his son, Triton. It all started one day while giving Triton his smiting lessons. Dad, when are you going to teach me the ball and stick game? Never! Now take hold of your trident and practice your smiting, son. Of course, Mr. Krabs seizes the opportunity to make some extra cash. But today, our focus is on the mistakes made in this episode. The first mistake occurs during Triton's introduction scene. It's a subtle yet noticeable error. Triton's eyebrows, which are typically a specific color, appear differently in one frame. It seems like a glitch in the animation process. Moving on, another mistake arises when Triton is set free from his cage. Cage is open. What do you say we go pay my old man a visit? <laughs> Are you guys coming or what? He wears beautiful blue pearls on his wrist, but in one frame, a few of the pearls glitch out and assume the same color as his skin. Although it's a small detail, it's still worth mentioning. Lastly, there's a quick blink and you'll miss it mistake. During the scene where Triton intends to ditch Patrick and SpongeBob, Patrick's mouth mysteriously disappears for a single frame. What an interesting man. Ready for a room temperature Krabby Patty yet? Son, I demand to know the meaning of this impudent imprisonment. To sum it up, the Clash of Triton contains a few subtle mistakes that can easily go unnoticed. However, upon closer inspection, these little details come to light. It's always fascinating to revisit episodes and catch these subtle errors that may have escaped our attention before. Let's delve into another exciting episode. And this time, it's the Salty Spittoon, which serves as a fantastic homage to the memorable episode, No Weenies Allowed. Come to the Salty Spittoon. How tough are you? How tough am I? <laughs> wow. Got a 
got any more tattoos. Uh, that won't be necessary. Go ahead. Thanks. We'll kick off with the first mistake. See if you can spot it. During a rather peculiar interaction between SpongeBob and the mail lady, notice that SpongeBob's mailbox is right there in plain sight. But if we rewind just two seconds to where he first opens his door, the mailbox mysteriously disappears. However, it magically reappears in the subsequent shot, creating yet another mistake. Now let's uncover the next mistake. Keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Crab closed on account of urgent? The clips I just showed you actually contain two mistakes. First, as SpongeBob walks to work, he can hear his voice indicating that he's speaking. But upon closer inspection, let's zoom in and slow it down. His mouth doesn't move at all. This is a significant mistake, quite egregious. However, I must admit that the other mistake is relatively minor. Typically, as demonstrated in these shots, the chum bucket is situated directly across from the Krusty Krab with a visible pathway connecting the two establishments. However, in the scene from the Salty Spittoon, the chum bucket and the pathway are nowhere to be seen. The geography has inexplicably changed, resulting in yet another mistake to be noted. Yeah, woo. Oh, Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs, can I do it today, huh? Can I, can I do it? 37, 38. Ooh. Bond, check. Fresh patties. If you've been a longtime SpongeBob fan, then you're probably familiar with one of the more divisive episodes. This is when the show started incorporating a lot of gross humor. Take a look at some of these clips featuring two Krabby Patties. Now, I must say that this episode has received its fair share of criticism. It's known to be one of the weaker SpongeBob episodes, primarily due to its reliance on gross humor. However, personally, I don't hate it. But let's see if you can spot the first mistake in this episode. It's quite subtle, so keep those eyes peeled. Because he already knows. What's that? What's what? Behind your back. During the scene where Mr. Krabs finds out about something, there's a very subtle mistake. Pay attention to SpongeBob's appearance. Normally, our yellow friend here has a belt, but in this shot, the animators decided not to draw it. Talk about laziness. And that's not the only instance of laziness in this episode. Let's move on to another mistake. This one is rather interesting. Thanks, Patrick. No problem. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Patrick's mouth is missing in these shots. Now, this is a common mistake in cartoons, but it's particularly problematic for Patrick, considering his love for ice cream, as we saw in the part one video. It's a real predicament when you can't eat without a mouth. And there you have it, folks. These were some hilarious mistakes from the world of SpongeBob SquarePants. It's fascinating to witness the slip-ups and blunders that managed to find their way into even the most cherished cartoons of all time. What do you think of these mistakes? Did you notice any of them before? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.